Okay, I'm Bob from Bulldog Winch. We're gonna be talking some winch basics, some rigging basics. Everything that I'm gonna talk about is industry information. It's not, you know, it's not special to Bulldog. It could be anybody's winch, anybody's rigging. Why synthetic versus the, the steel or wire cable, wire rope? There's a lot of advantages and disadvantages to both, but the synthetic rope is easier to use it's, it's not under tension, so it's not trying to unspool on the drum. You can run it with your hands without a lot of issues. We always recommend wearing gloves, um, whereas the wire rope, you definitely have to wear gloves. It's lighter weight. You're gonna save 20 to 25 pounds between the rope and the fair lead change going to synthetic versus the, the wire rope. And on a, a vehicle like a Jeep, that. That can, that can be pretty important sometimes. Um, synthetic rope floats, whereas wire rope obviously doesn't. So if you're in a water situation, your rope will actually float for you. You can see where your rope is. Um, and we always, we have an internal saying that once you use synthetic, you'll never want to use the wire rope ever again. Now where wire comes into, into play is wire rope is a lot more economical. I think a winch with synthetic is at least 100 bucks more than the wire rope version, sometimes 200 bucks, sometimes even more. So the wire rope's uh, more affordable. The wire rope is also better in high abrasion situations, so if you're always running it across the ground, across gravel, or over sharp rocks or sharp edges, the wire rope might be the better choice. But other than that, um, we always think the synthetic is, is the, nicer, the nicer way to go. Plus, um, we have a sliding cover so on our synthetics, so if you get to a situation where you have a, a sharp situation, you could just run this down the rope, put it over the sharp edge, and help the rope uh, with the abrasion situation, okay?